Hey guys, uh, corner lift is when you clean and press a book, especially if you wet clean it or if you are steaming it. And after you press it the first time, the corner will sort of lift. This is an exaggeration for effect, but kind of, you know, do this. The corner kind of, not maybe like that. Many of you have asked me, hey, how do I get rid of that? Or what is this? And um, what it is is a difference in surface tension in, in the book after it's been cleaned and the, the polymers have had a chance to get to a natural place on one side of the paper than the other. You see it more at corners because it's happened in two different directions in a corner because there's two different edges. Uh, and this is what I do to alleviate them. Uh, hope you. This is on Werewolf by Night 32, which I'm sure 100% of you understand is the first appearance of Moon Knight. And there are probably many people looking for their copy right about now to get clean and pressed, even if they've had it graded because of the upcoming Disney series. Um, it's kind of a fun story. It's not great, but the Moonlight is a great character. And I uh, hope you enjoy the video. Right, take care. Bye-bye. Okay, so this is it. This is your basic uh, clean and press. I'm just going to do nothing special. This book doesn't need a lot of special. It's just going to get a person here. I just want this uh, book to be clean and press as per normal. So this case, I'm not going to do any erasing or anything. First, I'm not going to steam it because it's about to become soaking wet. I take some Amaki Clean pumps here. I start here. I'm just going to wipe this book out this way. I usually start from the center the edges. I'm going to give it a few seconds to soak in. That's how much dirt I got off on the first wipe around there. Let's see if I can straighten out this camera. And we'll give it a little few seconds and I'm just going to do the other side of the pad here. And I'm going to up again, it's going to sort of curl in on itself, and I can stop that by putting some water on the back of the page once I've pressed it. So I got a little bit of dirt. It's not very dirty. Uh, it's not going to look that much better. And I will put this on a piece of paper here. Usually I let this dry a little more, but it's not that damp because it was so warm it's drying quickly. And I'm going to do the back really quickly. And you'll see that I got the vacuum clean. I'm just going to wipe it here. I don't expect this book to improve greatly, but it will probably be subtle. Oh, it's actually getting quite a bit. Um, so, there we go. Getting it this direction. That's just a little bit of dirt coming out. It's not a lot, but a little. And I'm going to flip this back over here. I do that is to take the whole mess up here around this board. And I'm going to take, just in case I don't have any streaks, I'm going to take a little bit of DI water and wipe it across the cover. And a little, little more dirt coming up, but not much. And there's not much dirt coming off this book. It's going to be a subtle difference. And I will do the other side as well. Use the same pad, other side. Some water just to, this is to avoid any streaks that might come up. In this case, I didn't really expect many. But it will look a little better. Ah, there's actually some dirt coming up. It's, I don't know if it shows up on the camera or not, but it is, there is some. It's subtle. This book was not dirty, very dirty. I use a, this is not toilet paper. It's people warn me against it's a Kim wipe. It's getting very wrinkly now, which is, of course it should. And I'm going to let it sit for about 15 or 20 minutes. And then I'm going to press it. And then we'll come back and show you the after, after photos. I probably should mention that I have one of my chamfer pressing boards, silicone release paper on the front and the back in this case, uh, because I'm cleaning the back and I'm doing both and keeping the keeping the cover taut this way. I'm about to press this at 165 degrees for 600 seconds. I'm going to turn off the heat until it gets to ambient, which will be about um, 45 minutes or so. We'll find out, and then I will take it out and cold press it for 12 hours. Um, overnight in this case so uh, and we'll see how it looks when we're all done and I will show you enjoy so the bottom I have a, a heated preheated it's hot aluminum metal board a little Teflon sheet piece of 110 pound paper 
my stack, I'm putting a piece of silicone release paper on top and a oh, preheated but somewhat cooler balloon board on top here. And I'm going to fingers out and this down. I press this to about 55 pounds and I will eventually show you how I know it's 55 pounds. I have a pressure gauge and know where that fits right here. And give it 600 seconds and we will see it on the other side. So the book is done and the page is lifted here as it often is when you wet clean it and heat it on the top only. So we're gonna fix that by taking some DI water and rubbing it on the side. I'll just put this camera down here so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just gonna get it wet on the other side here. Let's get this pretty wet on the back. And then it will relax a little bit the other direction. So it's got a little bit wet on the back here. I'm just gonna let it do its thing for a little bit. And it should curl the other way. You see a little more water here. You will see in a moment, it's gonna wrinkle up, then I'll press it again and those corners will lay down. The whole book here, a little more of it. See how much more curly it is right now, but watch it. Give it a few seconds. Now keep watching. Watch. It's going to set down in a minute. Here it goes. Exactly as predicted, you'll see. See what I said? I don't know if you can see that corner there too pretty well, but just watch. And it will, as promised, relax as the paper absorb the moisture. This is more than I would typically put, but I'll put it here so you can see it. It looks worse at first, but you just rub it on the back and it's going to see how it curls up, but then watch what happens in a moment. See that? Look at that curl. Look how much there is. It's crazy, but it will in a moment go back down as you'll see. And there it goes. As it absorbs the moisture, the book is evening out the tension. See that? There it goes. And I'll give it a little bit of time like this and then I'm just gonna press it again. See it? Look how it goes nice and flat. Well, not, I would say this is far from flat, but it will, in a few minutes, go flat again out of its own accord. You will see. Yeah. So I will come back and show you. It'll take about 15 minutes for that to relax again. You'll see. So here we are 15 minutes later, and I'll show you. I kind of overdid it, so I put the paper on the inside, and you can see now the paper is... If you can see anything, it's convex. You see how it's kind of curling up and sort of down at the edges a little bit. So it's kind of up in the middle instead of down. So I overdid it with the water on the inside, but now I'll press it again and it will be nice and flat as I will show you. And um, yeah, I sort of over, I put too much. I should have I should have listened to my instincts and not put as much as I did. But anyway, that's the process. And then I'll press it again and it will come out flat. So this is after the second press there. And here's what the edge looks like now. So you can see that the is no longer uh, sticking up in there. And could we have done this in one pass? Yes, we could have. So saving just two presses, we could have just got it wet on the opposite side too. And it would have been nice and flat like this. So what does the rest of the book look like? You know, like this. Um, you know, it doesn't look very much different if I'm honest. That's how I would clean it though, <laughs> if it did, but it doesn't look, it doesn't look a lot different, really. It looks pretty much the same. It, oh, well, that's not true. It, it does look, it looked optically appealingly better. It would be difficult for me to pick out a 
feature that says, oh, this is much cleaner than another spot. There was some dirt around here and his little weird winged cape thing that was some, you know, discoloration that came off and looks better now. Um, if I look at the back, it's just generally, you know, cleaner and brighter. It's not amazingly clean and bright. I mean, it wasn't that dirty to start with. So, is it better? Yeah, it's better. But it's subtle. But in any case, that's how I would clean it. I'm going to do a cold press now. So I'm going to put my cold press board on it and come back in. I think I'll leave this one I'll leave on for about 12 hours. And then I'll bag it up and we're done. So I hope you enjoyed the video.